Ow. This is very hard with one hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a knife. Screw this. Hey everybody, in this video I got given a Gammon S620 tablet to do a review of, and that's basically what this video is. Uh, there's also a speed draw and a Q&A in it, so if on my Instagram you ask me any questions, uh, this is where the answers are, so you should watch to listen. <laughs> I'm basically just gonna use the tablet, see how it works, and tell you my thoughts about it at the end of this video. So, let's go do that. Let me get this cute little card. I can't, I literally can't do this with one hand. Anymore, Chief. There you go. <laughs> Eating it. No, why is it so salty? Ta da, little tablet. Look at how cute it is. Um, these are pen nibs. Oh, see, is this slip gloves? I never really use slip gloves, but at the most I can use it to dust my screen. And the last thing in here is a little instruction manual. This is like a good freaking deal. Like, what? You get all of this in that one little box over there. That's, that's pretty crazy. Oh my, God, it is foggy outside. That's completely unrelated. But like, that's a good deal, you know? Look at all the stuff you get. Fantastic. Okay, um, I'm going to plug it in and run the startup and I will tell you how that goes. This is voice recording me. Hi. So that lovely little instruction card that you probably saw, the orange one, basically just has a website on it. You put that website into your browser which I'm slowly typing right now. Boom, there you go. Uh, you go down and this is basically just free to download your driver. You pick your tablet. So this is the S620. Then you pick your category, which I want drivers, not the manuals. I got the manual, the physical copy. I don't need that. And then I picked uh, Mac OS because I'm obviously working on a MacBook. Download the driver and you run through your whole little computer's driver setup process, whatever that might be. But you know, you enable that and uh, I enabled the wrong one because I am a genius. They're both orange, give me a break. Um, and then you get this lovely little thing and there's a bunch of different windows you can pop through that just give you like basic tablet setup. This one allows you to conform the tablet to each screen kind of thing. So I just initially conformed it to both screens and then that was a little too fast for me. I didn't like that. So I ended up changing it, conforming it to only the left screen. Um, then you obviously got like all your customizable buttons. They all work very well. Uh, I don't personally use customizable buttons a lot. I just use my keyboard, um, but I did test them out. They seem to function as they should. Uh, you got four of them. So you can do all your little basic ones. If you wanna put like a control Z or whatever you want on there. Um, and same thing with the tablet pen. Tablet pen also has those little customizable buttons. So this is the speed draw portion of the video. I took the Gammon tablet and I did an entire drawing with it. I did not touch my Cintiq. I did the entire thing on the Gammon. Um, I'll give you my thoughts on the tablet at the end of the video. But for now, uh, I'm gonna do a Q&A. What made you get into art and start trying to really improve your art? Um, basically my drive to get into art school. <laughs> I, in about grade 10, I had a teacher who was like, hey, you know, animation's like a thing that you can do and you can get paid for it. And I was like, what? Mind blown. And that was pretty much my drive to just like get good so I could get into the school that I wanted. Um, what kind of brush do you recommend when doing line art, any program, um, but I use Medibang. Uh, I've never touched Medibang in my life, but I'm sure it's probably a great program. Uh, I use Photoshop and Procreate the most. And in Procreate, I like using under their calligraphy heading, the shale brush uh, and some of their just normal sketching pencils for liner. And in Photoshop, I actually made my own brush because I'm extra that way. <laughs> um, so if you want access to the brush though, uh, draw my Discord server and at me and I can send it to you. Next one. Is there a good way to start animating? Like any good programs or tutorials that you recommend? Uh, your project is standing, I love seeing your art. Oh, thank you. Um, there's hundreds upon hundreds and it really just depends on what animation software you're using. I can't really recommend something if I don't know what program you're using, but um, the programs that I use are Toon Boom Harmony, Storyboard Pro. I used to use Photoshop for animating. Oh, if I case you animator draw, could you tell me how to begin or what program to use? Depending on how much you're willing to pay on animation software, that really depends on like what animation software you're gonna get because the prices range a lot. <laughs> um, I'd suggest if you're just starting out, honestly, whatever art program you already have probably has some rudimentary animation software within it. Um, Procreate has animation in it. Uh, Photoshop has animation in it. If you have Clip Studio, there's an animation version of that program. I've heard really great things about it. Haven't tried it myself, but I've heard really great things. I wouldn't suggest going like whole hog and getting something like Toon Boom or Harmony. 
off the start because if you don't know if you're gonna like it that's a lot of money to drop on a program you know um so check out the software you have do some research because quite frankly if you have art software already you probably have animation software associated with it no matter how rudimentary it is it's still a way for you to try out doing animation because not gonna lie animation isn't for everybody <laughs> you know uh what are some good sketching tools and how do you draw the other eye never seem to make them symmetrical um so i'll do like a if you want tutorials, I'll do like an actual like drawing tutorial where I can like go into this in detail, but like the quickest way to explain this is that the other eye isn't supposed to be symmetrical, right? Like unless you're doing a full on front view, in which case you can just like flippity flop your drawing um, and like mirror it to get the other side of it. But if you're doing like a three quarter front, like this drawing here, uh, that other eye is not supposed to be symmetrical. So if it's not, that's fine. Um, and probably the easiest way to like check it and make sure if it works is to just um, go into like image edit flip horizontal or something or in your transform settings it's like transform flip horizontal um, and you will probably immediately cringe your art and go wow that's awful um, but using like the distort tool and the transform tool you can kind of manipulate the art that you already have and fix it so it looks a little bit better and that might help you kind of get that other eye drawn how do i get inspiration for my art um i look at other people's art and i think wow that's good and then i cry a little bit and then i go and draw my own <laughs> Do you have any good tips for inking or line art? For example, types of brushes or styles. Um, this is also this was something I struggled a lot with when I was getting into art, and I still struggle with it a lot too. Um, line art is just so fickle to me because it's like sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I want this like super clean, beautiful line art, but other times I'm like, I really love the sketchy style, you know, that kind of like messy, low key, looks like they didn't try really hard, but it still looks like delicious and amazing. And I want that, but I'm meticulous, and so I end up getting like this very clean line art sometimes, and also just not clean line art. Um, I don't know. It's honestly just, I mean, you can see in this tutorial alone, I just redraw and redraw and control Z and redraw lines constantly until I get the one that I like um, and it's annoying sometimes and it takes a while but it, art takes time you know <laughs> how did you find slash come up with your own drawing style um I looked at a lot of tv shows right I like the I really I really like animated stuff <laughs> um and I went wow I want to draw like that um like just redrew all of their frames until I could draw like that tv show and then I got lazy one day and I was like, wow, drawing like this TV show is really hard. And so then I, I made it easier <laughs> and it kind of melded with some other things. You know, if you look at my art style, you'll probably see like hints of like Avatar and Steven Universe mushed together. That's pretty much how I draw. Um, but how did I come up with that? It, it was basically just, I drew what I liked and this was the byproduct of that. Um, and honestly, Whatever you draw as right now, whatever style you draw in right now, that's your art style. You might not like it yet, right? But whatever you draw as that, that's your style. And it's unique to you and nobody else has it. And that's your style. And it'll take a bit for you to like come to terms with it. And or there'll be some changes to your art style that'll make you like it more. But just know that you do have an art style. You just don't like it yet. <laughs> and you'll get there, I believe in you. How do you start off with making the body? Super rough sketch. Um, so in this drawing specifically, you probably saw I start with like a circle. All of my drawings start with a circle. It's the circle for the head and then I do a plus on the face. Uh, that helps me figure out like eye direction and the angle of the drawing and I base everything off of that. Um, I could do like another tutorial later on where I actually like go through the process of me drawing something like meticulously and slowly. Um, but just for now, yeah, it, it's literally just like a circle with a plus for eye direction and then I rough in the body after that. How do you do your hair and shading? Um, you can probably see it here for my shading, but I like to take a really soft brush, um, like an airbrush, and I do a soft shadow, and then I take an eraser and erase part of that shadow, so I get like a gradient with a hard edge, if that makes sense. Next one, uh, using Toon Boom and not crying at nodes and special effects. Uh, that's impossible, you will cry, and it's fine. <laughs> we all cry. Uh, how did you get your account to grow in the beginning? I didn't. Um, I've been doing this for years, and it wasn't until the Dream SMP started that anything really happened with my account. What app do you use for your art? Uh, Photoshop and Procreate, those are the two main ones, uh, and Starboard Pro when I'm doing animatics. How long does it usually take to finish a piece? Any tips on how to finish things quicker? Um, there is literally no, this is like one thing that I could try giving you all the advice in the world, but it's literally just practice. If you want to do something quicker, you have to practice it until you get good at it. And there's no way around it, unfortunately. <laughs> um, for me, uh, depending on the size of the piece, this piece took me like two hours, no, one hour, one and a half hours, two hours-ish, around that time. Um, it's a full body piece, probably takes me three hours. It really depends on the sketch. If I'm struggling with the sketch, it can take a little bit longer. Um, once I settled on the sketch and then the liner, it's like snappy, snappy, all done. How do you make your feed look more concrete slash organized for people who first find you? 
Um, I've literally never thought about that in my entire life. I just draw what I want to and post it. <laughs> uh, I probably should think about like how my feed looks and I like looking at other people's feeds and thinking, wow, your feed looks like so consistent and pretty. And then I don't bother doing that in the slightest. How do you start making art? You just do it. Just pick up a pencil and draw something. Welcome to the end of the video. If you made it this far, congratulations. Um, these are my final thoughts on the Gammon tablet. I thought it was great. Honestly, this is a $60 tablet, uh, Canadian dollars by the way. Um, $60 tablet, you get a whole whack of stuff and it was really good. I'm not just saying this because I was given the tablet, but it, it's genuinely a really good tablet. Like I've tried out Wacom Intuises, I've tried out other Wacom products and other Wacom products. I currently use a Cintiq Pro, so I'm used to like these big massive thingies. Um, this was amazing. So one thing actually about the tablet is really cool. The pen is a non-charge pen, so it's like the Wacom pen. Uh, there's no batteries. You don't to charge it it's just ready to go it's flipping fantastic um there was great pressure sensitivity great tilt sensitivity everything was good about it like i had no complaints drawing with it if you're a startup artist and you don't want to pay a bajillion dollars for a tablet that you don't know you're gonna like get this thing it's not a large commitment financially and it's good <laughs> like quite frankly i get a lot of questions about people asking me like hey i'm new to digital art and i don't know what to get what products I should use, what whatever I should use for this. And this is something that I would highly recommend. It's really cheap, you can get it on Amazon, so it ships pretty much everywhere <laughs> and it's good. Yeah, final thoughts, uh, let's give it a rating. Um, out of 10, I'll give it an eight. It's an eight out of 10, it is a solid, solid tablet. And that's the video. I really appreciate you guys watching this. This is really different than the stuff I usually do. Obviously I do animatics all the time. And so this is just like an actual video recording, which is weird, but hi, we're here. Um, if you like this content and you wanna see more stuff like this in the future, whether that be tutorials or speed draws with me talking at the top of them, um, drop a comment below for like what kind of tutorials you might want to see, whether that's backgrounds, characters, hands, colors, whatever it is, let me know. Um, and I'll probably make some because these are quite fun. I enjoy doing them and I hope you enjoy watching them. So thank you. And yeah, thank you Gammon for giving me this tablet. It was quite fun. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Bye-bye. <laughs>